So, this is what I made earlier. I'm gonna show you guys what I made. Um, I think I sent it to Void. So it's right here. Yeah, it's this one right here. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be remaking that again. So first of all, what you guys are gonna want to do is in to have a Cinema 4D ready and my uh, not Minecraft the hell, uh, Adobe Photoshop ready. Um, but this tutorial is going to be how to make a render only and not how to um, edit it and make it look nice in Adobe Photoshop. Um, that tutorial will be in a later date, so yeah. First of all, you guys are going to want to install this tutorial rig, which I made, well not made, I compiled it. It has a, uh, it has an FMR Frost rig and a... Uh, Lightroom I found on the internet. So yeah, just drag that to your desktop once you're downloaded that close the browser and Put that aside so you're gonna have to find a skin that you want to extrude. I'm gonna use void um, As you guys can see void here is It's a pretty simple skin. So it's gonna be easy to extrude um, First of all, you're gonna wanna like remove the eyes like right here what I did that's what I did. So you're gonna have to open uh, Photoshop, file, open, and open the skin, void skin. And you're gonna wanna like zoom in to the eyes. Select that with the rectangular marquee tool. Hold shift so that it doesn't deselect the first selection. So now you're gonna wanna go to your uh, brush selection tool. Um, right click size is at 2 hardness is at 0 now you're gonna wanna like hold alt click a pixel and just cover it do that again make sure make it look natural you know there you go it looks somewhat decent and just do that there you go now we have that we remove the eyes we can just save that as our skin no eyes or just any skin any name you want but since okay just click ok and now we have that but I already have our skin no eyes so I'm just gonna delete that and now I'm gonna close uh, Photoshop since we won't be using that anymore now just double click your tutorial rig and it should open Cinema 4D all right now um F H hrb fmr so this is an edit made by cfrost not me so you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna click on the um this spline layer spline object here scroll down until you see skin um then change the skin to the skin no eyes in our desktop um which is right here all right here we go um, I'm also gonna disable the cape by the way by taking this cape uh, button right here then um, as you guys can see the eyes are not the same with our original skin so just scroll down until you see colors face colors right pupil and stuff so then you're gonna want to open um, the normal rig normal skin what am I talking about and you're gonna wanna pretty much just put that to the side and copy the colors by using this eyedropper tool and just copy that from there there we go now it's the same with our skin um it's okay so now it looks a bit 2d we're gonna extrude it but before that we're gonna go to layers go to body um, uncheck the uh, lock thing make sure that's unlocked and you're gonna want to click the plus tool right here go to head now you see, you're gonna see these two layers extrude mesh head and extrude mesh hat you're gonna go to extrude mesh head and click the red dots right here click both of them make them disappear and drag that to the side same with the other one just use the arrows like right here so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna start with the head first um, so this is how we extrude stuff 
you're gonna wanna select the layer, mesh head. Go to your live selection tool, go to your, um, what is this called? Polygons tool. Then you're gonna select, oh, by the way, hold shift, then just select uh, everything. Not everything, select the face. Make sure you don't select the, the, um, the hair so that you don't run into problems. So yeah, just do that real quick. Boom, then just hit delete on your keyboard and we should have this hair layer on. Now we're gonna extrude this by sides. So we're gonna do the front side first. I'm gonna show you guys how this works. If you guys make any mistakes, um, hold control on your keyboard and just uh, deselect the parts that you don't want to be selected. Now you're gonna wanna uh, hold M plus T on your keyboard. Make sure the maximum angle is at 91, offset is at 3, and create caps is ticked on. Now just click apply. Now do the same for the other sides. And yeah. Make sure you guys are holding down shift. There we go. Empty and apply. So I'm gonna do this for the rest of the sides and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. So now I have the head layer or the like hair layer extruded. Um, if you guys run into like, if you guys do like mistakes and stuff, just click Control Z and it will redo, um, it will delete whatever you did wrong. It will um, undo. There we go. So yeah, now you're gonna go to your model tool, um, then move tool and go to the position here at the bottom go to X make sure and then set this to zero and it will put it back to your skin which is epic now for the mesh hat move this to the side even more so that we have more space and just do the same but this one is gonna be a little bit different as you guys can see there are like transparent like layers transparent pixels and stuff so what you're gonna do is like delete all of those like so just delete those because if you guys don't, uh, it's gonna look weird once we edit this in Photoshop um, in the future video. So yeah, just keep doing that. There we go. Alright, I think I deleted all of it. Now, um, for this layer, for this like hat layer, um, I'm gonna extrude the hair first same thing we did with the uh, hair earlier we're gonna extrude this by two that's the only difference extrude this by two there we go now once we have extruded that we're gonna extrude the hood for next um, if your skin doesn't have a hood, uh, it's completely fine, you, you can skip this step, but you'll run into some skins that have hoods, so just follow what I'm gonna do. Um, by the way, if you want to do the line selection tool, just tap U plus L and it's gonna bring you to this line selection tool. Now I'm gonna extrude this, uh, I guess, hood, uh, hood border thing to... Um, a two, and I will extrude this one as well. And bam, right, epic. Oh crap, I messed up. All right, there we go. Extrude that by two. Now I won't extrude the rest of the hood because we want we don't want our like skin to be really fat, and you know, over extruding is a thing. So. Be aware of that. Now we're just gonna move this to uh, um, do the same thing. Move tool, model tool, and set set the position to zero. And it should be at our skin. Uh, okay. It looks like I have to extrude it. All right. It shouldn't take too long anyway. So let's just do that. So 
to extrude the hood just um, do the same thing and UL to get the uh, line selection tool so just do that I'm gonna extrude that by one And there we go. Now it looks decent. Good. Um, now once we're done with the head, we're gonna extrude the arms next. Um, when I extrude arms, I usually like to put them at the side like this. So it's way easier to extrude. There we go. Now we're gonna find the mesh, which should be at the mesh layer mesh folder then find mesh arm and extrude that I'm gonna extrude the I'm gonna only extrude the white bits because again I don't want our skin to be chunky so like that empty extrude this by two or actually just by one I think that's too big there we go one Right, epic. Now for the next uh, arm, do the same. U L and select the the stuff. Empty and boom. Now the extruding part depends on what's what uh, skin you're using. Um, so if you guys have like hoodies and stuff, so you're gonna have to extrude like the strings. So, like in my skin, I have a scarf, so I extruded the scarf, and that's yeah, this is how I did it. Now, for the body, I'm just gonna extrude the collar, which is this bits right here. So, again, it, so that it doesn't look chunky, I'm gonna extrude that as well. There we go, I'm gonna extrude that. extrude this by one there we go so now that we're good we have that extruded um, we can move on to the legs so leg um, leg R L I'm gonna start with this leg again I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna move this to the side a bit so that it's easier to extrude not too much that's that's enough so I'll start with this legs the arm uh, what? that's the arm leg R there you go and this is how I usually extrude my uh, my shoes so UL um, line selection tool uh, loop selection tool sorry and just select um, every part of the the shoe like so and extrude that by two then what you're gonna want to do well actually just extrude that by one then what you're gonna want to do is line select uh, loop selection tool and select this white bit which is like this one the white bit here select that empty and extrude this by two make this look really nice there we go makes it look really 3d now I'm gonna do this blue part. I mean blue. What the hell? I can't think. Uh, so extrude that by two as well. There we go. Do the same for the other leg. There we go. Now I have um, the the skin completely completely extruded. Now I can do the poses and stuff. But first, first we're gonna have to like save this first. Um, so that if we so that we can like um, we can uh, it's just better if you guys save it right now save as and then set the name to like void rig or something void rig there you go now it should be saved then we can do the pose I'm gonna do a simple pose um, so I'm just gonna mess around with the posing and stuff
there you go so now I've done my pose um, I'm actually you guys can change like the facial expressions by using this um, you can open the mouth up and down it looks weird yes freaky I agree but hey it's cool there we go we can just edit the mouth a bit there we go now for exporting um, it shouldn't be too hard just to do that. like um, find like the place where you how you want um, the render to look like so for me I want it to look like this so like when I render it right now it's gonna look exactly like that which is really awesome so I already have my render settings input it here um, uh, the tutorial rig is also gonna have it so you guys don't have to worry about that and yeah all I have to do is just wait for this to export and I will be right back all right now that our render is done rendering <laughs> we can now export this by going to file save as then PNG still image um, make sure alpha channel is ticked um, and just click OK and you can change the name to like render and just enter it's gonna save itself and now you guys can close this um, yeah now our render should be not in the Microsoft Store but in our desktop right there open that and there we go it looks epic I got I grabbed some food from our pantry because I'm really hungry but yeah here's our render I'm gonna send this to void as well mm. there we go just give him that because why not and that's the video so if this video helped you guys out make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and again all links will be in the description um and for the next tutorial um photoshop tutorial um i'll be uploading it uh sometime next week so yeah make sure you guys stay tuned until then and i hope you guys have a great day and peace out